Hey, what's up guys? It's Sean from High Tech. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Zion Crane V2. This is a gimbal stabilizer that you can use with your DSLR or mirrorless camera to take your footage to the next level and give it that really smooth cinematic feel. The crane itself weighs two pounds and supports cameras weighing up to four pounds. It comes in this really nice carrying case with foam padding on the inside to make sure it isn't damaged if you have it with you on the go. Also included are two batteries that have pretty amazing battery life. A single charge could potentially last you multiple days depending on how heavy your camera is and how much you're using it. You also get a battery charger with a micro USB cable to use for charging the batteries. The crane is made entirely of metal so it looks and feels very sturdy. It's not made cheaply at all and it feels great in the hand when using it. I did purchase a couple additional accessories that I highly recommend. The first is a quick release plate and adapter. This is extremely helpful because once you have everything set up, you don't have to worry about rebalancing your camera when you take it off the gimbal unless you change your lens. The second is a tabletop or mini tripod that screws on the bottom of the gimbal. And this provides a lot of convenience when balancing your camera, taking your camera on and off the gimbal, or if you just need to sit the gimbal down. I'll put links to the Zhiyun Crane and all these accessories down in the description below. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to balance your camera on the gimbal. You do this by making adjustments to the three axis points as well as your camera's position on the mounting plate. You'll know you have it balanced correctly when your camera stays in place horizontally and vertically. Also, your camera should be able to stay in any position you rotate it into. From there, you can turn the gimbal on by holding down the power button for a few seconds until the light stops flashing. It has three modes for you to choose from. The default one is the pan and follow mode. With this mode, the gimbal will pan left and right following your hand motion. The tilt axis is locked, but you can still control it by moving the joystick up and down. You can switch to the second mode, which is the locked mode, by pressing the mode button once. And in this mode, the three axes are locked in place, so regardless of how you move your hand, the camera will stay in one set position. Pressing the mode button twice will switch to the third mode called the pan and follow mode. In this mode, the gimbal will pan and tilt with the movement of your hand, and you can control the roll axis with the joystick. The gimbal will also work inverted, which is great when you want to get shots close to the ground. Zune also makes mobile and desktop apps for the crane. You can use these apps to fine tune the settings of your crane so that it works exactly how you want it to. It's actually pretty incredible how smooth the Zune crane can make your footage. Here's a handheld clip of me running, and as you can see, even with me trying my best to keep the camera steady, there is a lot of shaking. Doing this with the Zune crane makes a huge difference. It's so much smoother and there's pretty much no camera shake at all. So yeah, I've been really impressed with the Zhiyun Crane. I think it works great, it's made really well, and it's a perfect tool for anyone looking to take their videos or filmmaking to the next level. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Zhiyun Crane. If you like this video, give it a like, and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you later.